This whole project was born from a friendship that was created because Rob and I, Rob who plays um, rhythm guitar and sings with me, uh, he and I were both up for the lead role in a theater production. And after auditions and all that stuff, I actually got the lead role, but Rob was cast as uh, one of the crickets. It was the Buddy Holly story. After that thing wrapped up, Rob and I had this great friendship and we felt that there was a bond. And I knew that he was an amazing musician because he was sending me his stuff that he'd worked on in the past and something clicked. He would start sending me some demos like uh, guitar instrumental stuff. And I would chop those up and then start writing some lyrics. And lo and behold, before we knew it, we had probably, I don't know, maybe four or five songs. I guess the next mission was to try to form a band or at least get into the room with some other guys and try to bring these songs to life. And at the same time, I was doing a, uh, an open mic at the Red Dog. So there was a whole cast of characters that I would be able to kind of sit back and watch uh, from, you know, from the bleachers as some other musicians would be coming up and Rob and I began this internal audition process to see who else we could you know, kind of fill out the band with. I remember meeting Evan, not only from doing the open mic, but I thought that he, would, he was funny. He kind of did a, a little bit of a comedy thing on, on the local uh, Trent radio, radio station out here too, but he had his own record as well. And he would come out to the open mic all the time and we would do these features and Evan was the feature for one of these weeks. And during that, he was doing kind of the one man band loop station thing and he was playing these killer lead riffs. And I was thinking, man, this guy not only looks the part, uh, but he plays really good lead guitar and he, he plays a hollow body. And I love that, I love a hollow body guitar. I kind of said to Rob, I think I might have somebody here. Lo and behold, he, he sent the track back and we were both like literally high-fiving. It was just perfect. And uh, we, we kind of got Evan right off the bat there. So we had a lead guitar player and, uh, and Rob was playing the rhythm and singing the songs with me. And I remember that Evan had a friend named Michael. So I, I kind of said to him, Michael looks so good for this thing. And you two kind of come up as a combo because Rob and I were, were our own little double dragon combo. And then it was like Evan and Michael kind of came as a package as well. And I said, you know, does Michael play bass? And he said, yeah, he actually used to play bass in, in another band with us. So we asked him, they showed up and it kind of felt like the official lineup was there. It's just a matter of trying to find a drummer. And this band has been so fortunate to be able to kind of pick from, from two drummers who are I would say personally the, the better drummers that I've ever met, one being Liam Archer, who's in a whole bunch of bands in Peterborough, and then our dear friend Craig Tutant, who is in a couple of bands with me, you know, for the past decade or so. And uh, I think the entire lineup has been solidified over the past year because we've only started playing shows since September, and now the songs are kind of being cohesive and we're getting a little bit of a following, but I mean, that's not the point for us. It's just about having a group full of friends who just really want to play music together, right original songs and the mission has always been to try to be like a bar rock band. We've also been so blessed to be working with a producer that we think so highly of. James McKenty is not only a staple, you know, in, in Peterborough, but in Canadian music, working with the likes of, uh, likes of Melissa Payne and Blue Rodeo. And I think at even one point in time, <laughs> had Gordon Lightfoot at a studio, Chris Christopherson. I mean, the list goes on and on, but I mean, James' own band, The Spades, have been a huge inspiration to me personally. So with him doing the recording and then having our good friend Mike Phillips, who is now a, a Toronto transplant living in Peterborough with his own studio, he's doing all the mixes for us. And he's worked with so many amazing artists, let alone uh, he's, he's worked with Sylvia Mack in the past and he's become a bit of a, a name himself so the name say ritual just kind of looked cool Rob and I have been looking for a name for this project for so long and while we were in the studio together working on vocals I just wrote these two words I love the word ritual because what we do is kind of ritualistic anyway and uh, I just wanted a short word in front of that and I think he was listening to something and I wrote it down on my phone and I showed it to him and he was like yep I think that's it Side. 